significance of Muslims fasting for 30 days? Fasting has been enjoined upon us in the Quran. Allah says, Kutiba alaykum as siyam kama kutiba ala ladina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. We have enjoined pray, uh, fasting upon the believers as was previously enjoined, meaning all human beings were enjoined with fasting. And what is the objective of this fast? Quran says, la'allakum tattaqoon. So you become more God conscious. And fasting is a, is a method of abstinence where you go into heightened alertness in order to evaluate and to understand the mission in life. And those who fast become um, more, they become more aware of their presence and their mission in life. And that is really the significance. And in Islam, we have the blessed month of Ramadan. Allah says, Shahru Ramadan, alladhi unzila fi al-Qur'an. It is a blessed month, Ramadan, it is the month in which the scripture of God was revealed. In fact, our belief is that all the major scriptures were revealed in this blessed month of Ramadan uh, because that's the period when humans are most alert towards their mission in life as believers, submissive uh, to God. And fasting implies refraining from eating, refraining from drinking, refraining from sexual activity, and to promote oneself in submission and prayer uh, at a level of heightened alertness. So that is really the mission. But fasting starts at sunrise and ends at sunset. So it's not a 24 hour period. It's actually sunrise to sunset. And after that, indulgence in eating as well as sexual activities are allowed. And you will notice that Muslims become uh, most aware of poverty and hunger during that blessed month. So actually it's very progressive, not only for the individual themselves who are practicing abstinence, but they become, they practice more empathy rather than sympathy because they feel the hunger and they tend to be more charitable during that period of time, which actually brings about a very progressive society.